Hey, what's going on guys? Um, wanted to give you all a little bit of quick of some quality of life tips for the Windows Mixed Reality headsets. So I specifically have the Lenovo Explorer. And I think the Windows Mixed Reality platform is actually fantastic for, for what you're getting and for how easy the setup is. It's great. It, it's honestly great. Um, but there's a couple things that you can do to make your life just better with this headset. Um, so let's go over that quickly. The main one, the main one that I'm going to give you is put your Bluetooth dongle on your headset or as close as to your headset as you can possibly get it. Most of the times, especially if you live in an apartment complex, there's Wi-Fi networks. Everyone's got Bluetooth shit nowadays. Fucking, there's just interference, and if your computer is a bit further away from you, or you have things in the line of sight, you're just gonna you're gonna lose some tracking. I mean, I'm gonna turn the screen away so I don't keep looking at myself. Um, but you you're gonna lose some tracking data, or the connection is just not gonna be as good with the controllers. So, I honestly, I'd recommend getting an Amazon Basics USB 2.0 extension and get some really strong mounting tape. I recommend Gorilla mounting tape. Um just just make sure it's high adhesion. Don't don't use a uh, low grade um uh, or low weight command strips. Use use some quality stuff because remember you're going to be moving around with this on your head. You're going to be moving with this. So it needs to be able to fucking stay on there. Um, yeah, and you can always route the cable back through with the main cable. Um, this little clip right here, it just has a couple little tabs and you just get your thumb in there and you just pop it off and it goes back on super easy. Um, second, route your cable to the back of your headset. I don't know why it comes off the side. It's never been very comfortable for me, at least not with my, um, my ceiling mount system. Um, but so I would route the cable to the back of the headset, um, can easily accomplish that just by putting some electrical tape, um, electrical tape on it and you can just remove the padding itself and then just kind of route it underneath that. Um, but yeah, so second, route the cable to the back of your headset. Third, this headphone cable. This has a problem with sliding all the way back out. And so when you try to flip your headset up, yeah. So when you try to flip your headset up, um, it won't let you do it because there's, there's no, there's no, there's too much tension on the cable. There's no room for it to move. Um, so put a zip tie on the end closest to the headset and zip tie. And you want to make sure it's kind of, kind of larger, a little bit fat. So that way, if the cable ever goes and starts backing its way out, it's gonna be stopped right there. And it's not gonna pull out. So now you always will just permanently have this, uh, this slack here on the cable. <coughs> so you won't have to worry about that. So fourth, swap these headbands around, swap them around. I don't know why it didn't come in this configuration. It's almost like this was really meant to go here and this was really meant to go here because I don't know why, like this padding, it's a little bit thinner. It's still comfy though. It's a little thinner, um, but it helps bring one, the lens is closest to your eyes and I feel like it just fits your head better. I don't know why, but when I had these in the proper, I felt like there was like, the, the padding was too thick here and it wasn't sitting right on my face. But it was like the second I flopped the pads around, like I saw a bunch of other people suggesting, world of difference, holy shit. Um, but, so yeah, so that's the fourth thing. Swap these two pads around and you're gonna be golden. Um, fifth thing, when you're getting extension cables, god damn, I keep, I have a preview up there, my camera too, and fucking screen here. Um, so, fifth thing, when you're getting extension cables, don't buy cheapy, shitty extension cables because you, you're honestly, you're doing yourself a disservice in the long run. Um, uh, but so by quality cables, 
three brands that I recommend that I haven't had any issues with, Ugreen, Cable Matter, and Amazon Basics. Those are the three brands that I can currently recommend right now. Um, Bluetooth dongle brand that I can recommend is Insignia. Um, I only found out after purchase that Microsoft themselves recommends this, uh, this Bluetooth dongle. So yeah, it's nice. Um, so I recommend that one as well. Um, but yeah, but when you're buying cables, don't, don't be going over 10 feet with your extension cables because it's just, it's not going to work unless you have active repeater cable or uh, active repeater cables. Um, so on my cable right now, I currently have, here, I'll pull it up. Um, I currently have like a six and a half foot HDMI cable. Um, a six foot USB three cable and um and a combined length of twenty feet for the USB cable for the extension. So and then just you want to take some super strong. Don't use use the high adhesive stuff here. Okay? You're moving around. It needs to stay on. I had used a low adhesive tape at first, um electrical tape, and it started peeling up within like two hours um but i went out and i bought some of the scotch 88 plus uh outdoor electrical tape perfect keeps the cables nice yeah you gotta deal with a little bit of fucking like you know if you have pets a little bit of hair sticking on like this slightly exposed parts but honestly the shit's fine it's not coming undone i'm not seeing any sign of it unsticking itself and yeah it works um and then the last thing, your head, your the hinge on your headset is gonna break, unless you have the Samsung Odyssey. The hinge on your headset is eventually just going to break. That's just what happens with fucking plastic hinges. They just, they, they just don't last, and they break. So if it's not completely broken off, or if it is, and you can manage to get this back in, um, with whatever method that you want to uh, go about doing that. But if it's just my problem was was that it doesn't it doesn't really lock in place when it's down so if you look down the headset would kind of just fall forward so what you can do is use two of these command hooks so these are out i think these are uh uh marketed as um christmas lights uh christmas light holders um so just go to go to go to target they have them there um, you'll find them. They, they look like this. They look like that. Super easy. Um, but yeah, you just throw a couple of these on. Be smart with how you're positioning them. Don't fucking mess up the ratchet system. Don't interfere or anything if you don't have to. Um, my perfect, my configuration that works perfectly is one here with the hook itself facing forward. So there's the hook. So that's facing forward. Because that way, because you need the tension to go backwards, so you don't want the rubber, rubber band slipping off. So, and this one, which is up here just towards the front of the headband, that one's facing up. That way, um, that way when you hook your rubber band on, and you don't need to hook it tight. You, you can add a second one if you want to, but it's, it's just enough tension to keep it pressed against your face. Not enough to be uncomfortable and not, um, or not too much to be uncomfortable, but not enough to keep falling down. Um, <laughs> you, don't need, you don't need a whole lot of tension on it. And it's good because it also still lets you use the flip up feature. It's just not gonna stay up as much by itself. So, which honestly, staying down is better than staying up in my opinion. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Overall, I think the Windows Mix Reality is a great system. I'm not going to lie to you. It ain't as good as the Vive. It's definitely not as good as the Rift. Uh, wait, swap those around. Not as good as the Rift. Definitely not as good as the Vive. Um, but for the significant lower cost and the easy setup, I have to say I'm happy with this. I'm not mad that I purchased this. And for stepping my feet into VR, this is... This, to me, this is honestly the way to go. If you're unsure about 
what you want to do in VR or if you're even going to like VR, right? And you don't have the ability to test them out. You don't know anyone with virtual reality. You don't fucking your Best Buys and your Microsoft stores. Don't fucking demo this shit because mine don't. None of the stores I've ever been to have ever demoed this thing, which is really, really retarded. Especially since your fuck the fucking IPD is not adjustable. But thankfully I have the average, so. But it's a good system. It's just it needs a little bit of TLC and just some ingenuity and a little bit of creativeness. And you can turn this into a really nice system. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Last thing, fuck fuck this man. Fuck. Fuck this face cover. Fuck it. It's it's fucking awful. This nose thing fucking sucks. Um, this is going to depend on what version headset you have. But on the Lenovo Explorer, this thing fucking sucks. So my, new, my nose is too big for it to be in there anyway. So I just kind of flip it down. Um, but another problem, another big problem, is that this right here is ripped. That is ripped. But the Velcro itself, it's still there. See? It just, it literally, it just eventually just rips apart from itself. Fucking, I'm not hard on my headset. I'm fucking careful with it. Just, this shit just, honestly, it wasn't made to last. And so, get a VR cover. But yeah, I hope any of these tips helped you out a little bit. Um, maybe you can share some of yours down in the comments. Um, there was one guy who posted a really cool, uh, headphone mod and I was like that's pretty sick but I use wireless headphones anyway so I'm not fucking with that but yeah so anyway I hope you guys found this video helpful in any way shape or form and you know leave some of your stuff down in the comments and I'd love to see him all right YouTube all right Reddit later Beep. press record